support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Um, but we have our next guest here in the studio and ready to go. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Very nice. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Um, my name is Seungwan Gang. I'm in Korea. And I'm a founder and CEO of iMedicine, the AI-driven digital mental health care platform company. Okay. So, okay. Obviously, the visual that I have is a little crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> so let, let's address this. What, what have we got going on here? Yeah. So I hope to introduce uh, my uh, innovative uh, technology with uh, this uh, AI-driven brain scanner, uh, seamless interconnected to our cloud-based EEG analyzing systems. Okay, so it's brain scanning technology that yes. is that is connected with AI and the cloud. I've got to know where what is what is this for? <laughs> because it's uh, fascinating. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so many people uh, suffering uh, from mental problems such as depression, addiction, some cognitive impairment, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, but the brain scan uh, is very hard to be executed um, by some ordinary persons. So I have developed the uh, easy, uh, easy to use, some uh, readable and portable, some quick assessment, EEG-based brain scanner, also with the NIR LED photo stimulator at the center of each electrode. So this device is not just for the brain scan, but the brain scan based a photo stimulating therapeutic device. Okay. Just, just want to make sure that I understand what it is we're talking about. Yeah. We have got a brain scanning helmet. It looks like a bike helmet, right? Yeah. It's a brain scanning helmet that is designed to help you figure out uh functional brain is it, neurolo is it neurological issues? Is it uh, like psychological issues? issues? What are we talking about here? Yes. So also the yeah, uh so psychological issues such as depression or addiction or some uh Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's, so this kind of neuro neurological problems also uh, happens in brains. So we, uh, uh, this device can uh, scan the brain's functional abnormalities and uh, map the, which lesion uh, uh, work well or some of the other lesion uh, doesn't work well compared to the AG and sex differentiated normative standard database. So we can map the individual's brain and assume the some uh, psychological or neurological uh, problems underlying the brain functional mapping result. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so that's that's the aspect of it that is the scanning side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the treatment side. Yeah. So uh, are you familiar with phototherapy? Maybe not. So, but mm, recently, not, not a lot. Yes. Some recently, many scientists have researched and studied about some NIR LED stimulation. So some frequency band wave uh, LED uh, can penetrate the scalp and skull and touch the brain cell itself. And then so when the, uh, the mitochondria in uh, brain cell uh, get the NIR LED uh, stimulation, they can up generate more generate more energy, ATP. Then they can regenerate and heal themselves, getting 
the NIR LED photostimulation. So that's the uh, mechanism how our device could heal the brain cell and we uh, support the regeneration of impaired um, neuronal uh, cells. Okay. So, so where did this product come from? How did, how did you get involved in, in working on this? Yeah. So, uh, I, I have worked at the university, Seoul Nature University data center for Korean EEG, uh, more than, uh, 15 years. And, um, so I, uh, at first I developed the age and sex differentiated standardized normative database world first and then i i founded my company i medicine startup company and our research team developed this uh helmet uh, working for um, brain mapping and also led based photo stimulations so um yeah okay okay so you have a big background in in this area yourself yes yeah Okay. I'm an MD and PhD specialized in some integrative neuroscience and pain oh, wow. management. Okay. Pain management. That's, yeah. that, that's a real specialty and one that I think more doctors should be familiar with proper pain management because it is oftentimes dealt with wrong. Yeah. So many chronic, chronic pain problems originated uh, from brain itself but oh. there's no solution to uh, assess the functional abnormality of brain. So that's, the, uh, that's my motivation why I uh, started oh. developing this device and technology. Gotcha. That makes sense to me. I, I can see how, how those connections all come together uh, mm -hmm. into this product. How, how far into this are you? Is this like a prototype? Are you close to release? Are you on the market? Where is this product? Yeah, the, this device uh, recently get FCC, the electrical device mark for US market. Okay. So this is not the prototype, the completed one. Okay. And and uh, are you are you ready for market? Are you still going through all the regulatory stuff? Are you required to go through FDA? <laughs> yeah, now in Korea, uh, this device is uh, approved by medical device by Korean authorities okay. and also uh, get FCC uh, for electrical device mark for US. And about FDA, it's under the review and yeah, pending FDA. Okay. So, yeah. so, so you're, you're really far along. It's, it's on the market in, in Korea already and you're yes. working with the FDA here. Correct. So okay. we already submitted yeah, all the technical document for FDA and uh, it is started the review. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and is this, is this the second country you're looking to launch in or are you available elsewhere? Uh, yes. So, um, many EEG based expert for psychological problem and neurological problem. So yeah, uh, reach out to me. And so we already introduced our device. And individually, they ordered the device uh, directly to us. So now we are open to selling uh, and global business. And also, US uh, is my second target market. Okay. Because so many Americans are suffering from some psychological problem. Yeah, especially after the last two years, right? So many people have been. Right. Emotionally yeah. affected and emotional affection uh, uh, effects can also manifest physically. Yes, Corona blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a good name. So, yeah. Pardon? That's a good name for it. Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, recently, I realized that so many uh, uh, children and adolescent are uh, exposed to some a uh, street drug were some prescribed opioid problems. Yeah, so yeah. I also hope this device could work for some okay. prevention of drug addiction. Okay, yeah, that's that's a great point because, you know, there's there's been this global issue, but mm -hmm. 
but particularly in the West with, mm -hmm. with opioid issues, you know, yeah. high yeah. addictions at this point, almost everybody in the West can say that they know somebody or have been personally affected by, mm -hmm. by that particular epidemic. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so since you're going through the FDA, once it's here, mm -hmm. uh, is this something that's going to come through a doctor's office where we have to have a prescription? Is this something that you could buy online? How, how is that going to work? Uh, yes. So um, just um, in the conventional medical system, just uh, each device is, should be prescribed just by doctor's order. Okay. Um, yeah. But so the, this technique, I hope to expand this uh, brain scan device for functionality and photo stimulation could be uh, set at the community center for some uh, addiction rehabilitation or some um, um, school system or some drugstore and uh, uh, to be easily easily accessed by ordinary persons some so yeah medical cost is very expensive mm -hmm. but uh, this technology and device uh, i try to make and uh, sales as cheaper as possible. Okay. So and yeah, so many ordinary persons can be easily accessed uh, to this service. Very, very nice. So this is a this is a product that I could own once it's on the market. Obviously, yes. Uh, yes, yes. That, that that I could own and have in my possession. It's not something I have to go into a doctor's office and have. The treatment's done there. It's something that I can do in the privacy of my own home. Yes, in the in okay. the uh, in the near future, I hope to expand these services, some home-based remote uh, telemental healthcare services. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Gotcha. And uh, what kind of price are we looking at on something like this? So uh, this time uh, for the launching event, so we uh open the, the prices some uh, about uh, some yeah um, one hundred sixty thousand dollar for one unit okay mm -hmm. that's that's a big investment yeah <laughs> yeah so so uh, this now this this uh, target customer is just for researcher or doctor or clinical psychologist not just for the individual home users but Understood. maybe yeah uh, i can uh, integrate the subscription based uh, service model integrating this device and analyzing services so okay. i hope to uh, launch more affordable prices and service fee for individual uh, customers okay so so like a like a leasing type option yeah yes Okay, that's that's pretty cool. And uh, do you intend on working with um, with insurance and Medicare and Medicaid and things like that? Yes. So uh, I I try to reach out to the some insurance companies such as Aetna or Kaiser uh, to be covered by some um, uh, preventive services and uh, cost down for uh, future disorders. Got it. So if yeah, some insurance. Uh, company could cover the reimbursement part then sure. yeah it's very good that's that's fantastic i really i really appreciate you coming on and talking about this because uh while technically a specialized product it's mm -hmm. it's something that can help with with a, an issue that is widely known and that's the the opioid epidemic so i really appreciate you coming on and talking about this if people want to find out more about the product and uh and the process that you're going through with the fda how can they do that just uh please visit our website imedsync.com or some linkedin or facebook fantastic well thank you again so much uh, yeah, this is a, a fascinating product. And I'll tell you when you, when you first showed up with the, with the helmet, I'm like, okay, this is going to be an interesting conversation. I don't know why, but this is definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this conversation too.
I did as well. Thank you so much. Thank you and very much. Enjoy the rest of CES. Yeah, thank you. TPN CES 2022 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz and Maurice McCoy. Interviews are edited by Joe Minnie. Hosts are Marlo Anderson, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, Christopher Jordan, Danielle Mendez, and Alante Sparks. Las Vegas studio provided by HC Productions. Remote studio provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production. Copyright 2022.